Today on Eats and Treats, we are going to be making fresh pico de gallo salsa. And so we're going to need to get some stuff together um, and get everything ready before we start. It's called mise en place. That means getting it ready, putting things in place so you know you have everything before you start to cook. All right, first things first, we entered the kitchen. We need to wash our hands. We need to fill up our sink with hot soapy water and we need to get stuff out. So I'm going to do that quickly. Okay, while the sink fills up, I'm going to get my cutting area ready. Um, I need to get a, a wash rag and a towel for to use today, but I need to, first thing, wash my counter so that you know that it's clean, so that I know that it's clean. Okay, hot water, hot as you can stand is what you need. A little bit of soap is all you're gonna need. I know that I've already bleached my counter. I will cover bleach, making your bleach water in another segment. But you wanna make sure it's nice and clean because you don't know what somebody else may have set on there, their book bag, they may have thrown a box up there, so you don't know. Okay, that's done. We're gonna get out our, our mat to secure our cutting board. Cutting board belongs behind the sink so that it can drip dry and not, if you stack the cutting boards on top of things, they get mildew on them. So get out our towel, our wash rag, um, that I've already used to wipe our counter or sink. Um, I'm gonna get out my knives. I'm gonna, today I'm gonna need my um, eight inch chef knife. I'm gonna need a paring knife. Um, later, I'm gonna need my bread knife. So I'm gonna set that over here out of the way. Um, and then I need to get my bowls in place. So I need, I need my two bowls. We have our onions that we prepared and the last lab, um, so we have the red onions and that are finely minced, and we have the white onions that are chopped. Okay, so tomatoes. It says to cut three cups of tomatoes. I like the vine ripe tomatoes for this, um, and so. But before I can use them, I need to wash them. So here's where I need my towel to put them on. All right, wipe up the water. Always, if you spill, you need to wipe. Best to wipe up spills as soon as they happen. All right, so for this, I'm gonna show you some different techniques. Number one is we just want this, the root or where the stem comes out, we don't want that in our food. So you're going to choke up on your knife. That means just like on a bat, you're gonna you only, I only want it to go in a little ways, so I have my hand on the back of the knife. Um, and you're just going to allow it. See, I've got this hand holding it. I'm not doing this in my hand because I could slip and it could fall, or it could jab my hand. That's a safety issue. So I am just going in a circle. I've got my tomato on the counter and I'm just going just enough to take that little stem out. Um, of these. And so I will do that to all of these quickly and being safe while you're doing it. Now we just have the stem end 
and we are going to slice that off. If you don't have sharp knives, this is when you need to have them. Okay, so I'm gonna get that off, that just the little stem. Um, that's where the flower was on these, on these. These ones don't show up at all. Okay, all right, easiest way. These are just like carrots, they wanna roll. So we are going to slice them into thin quarter inch, thin slices. We're gonna take one of those off and set it aside. Turn it on its one edge. And then we're going to slice down. Turn them and then you're gonna slice them across. And we have some small diced tomatoes. Put those in your bowl. And you're going to keep doing that until you have, take these ends, it's a, the skin on the tomato is a little hard to get through. If it's hard and you're having trouble, turn it over and make sure you pull back and follow through with your knife. If you're not following through, you're not finishing the cut. Okay, that is our knife cuts for you. This recipe calls for one cup of onions. Um, and yet last time we got the onions and we made the onions into a pretty large, pretty large um, pieces. So I'm going to make them smaller. Start on the one end and work your way back and forth across them. If you're really susceptible to onion juice and it making you cry, you might, there's a couple ways that you can limit that. You could wear, um, if you wear glasses, my way of doing that is to stand up straight and not lean down and looking at my at the cuts that I'm making. All right, I like the way that is better. So um, for that, it, we now need one. We now need one cup of onion. So we'll get our measuring cups. This is for dry food. This measuring cup, the cup, the, the ones like this. This, you never use these measuring cups for liquids. These are only for dry. One cup. And you want it to be right, you know, you don't want it to be heaping because a cup is a cup. Um, so one cup goes in there with that. The rest of this, I'm gonna save because we'll use it for something later.